Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be covering 30 plus MCQ questions that would help you to understand what is the level of uh, testing uh, knowledge you have. The first question is white box testings are classified it as a error guessing technique or a structural testing or a design based testing. The white box testing is nothing but a structural testing where we will be dealing more into the code and its code branches, different parts in the code that is all about white box testing. The next question is which is not a software testing challenge. You can have hundreds of testing challenges like we have a non-documentation where we do not have any documentation still we have to test the application. Sometimes even we, we may see unstable test environment while testing that is also one of the challenge. Even that it may happen that communication gap between the development and testing can also happen and lack of testing skills also a big challenge these days. Even certain test manager is resigned that should not impact our overall software testing processes because if one person is leaving the organization that does not give any challenge because if test manager leaves then there is a notice period is there and someone will get uh, hired and the, someone will get trained but that is not a challenge. So this is the fifth option you should select it as a this is not a part of software testing challenge. Then the third one is the software testing with the real data in real environment is known as a the alpha testing we normally we do within the development team and beta testing this will be done by the at the client place or the selected customer for a given product. The selected customer normally he will try to input the, the real time data and uh, he will try to test the application. That, that is where the beta testing will give us the real picture where end customer or end user is going to test the application. That is the answer for this. Then the next one is what are the various testing levels, the unit testing, system testing, integration testing, definitely these are all uh, different levels of testing. So then all the all of the above is the right answer for this question. Then the fifth one is what are the attributes of a good software, whether it is a just a maintainability or a just a functionality or a maintainability and functionality or a development. The key thing of a software is maintainability and functionality. The software should have a good functionality plus along with the good functionality you should be able to maintain as well. That is the critical attributes of a good software. The sixth question is informing to the developer which bug to be fixed first is called as a fixability, traceability, severity or priority. We will be telling to the developer the priority will be given to the developer to fix a particular bug that is the option is the right answer. Then uh, exit criteria define in which deliverable do we define the exit criteria in our defects, test summary report, test cases, test plan. Uh, normally the exit criteria will be defined in the test plan both entry and exit criteria will be defined in the test plan and that will get approved from the stakeholders before we are really starting the testing. So what is cyclomatic complexity? Is it uh, white box testing, yellow box, green box and block box? These two type of testing anyhow it is not there, yellow box and green box. The existing option is block box or a white box. The In cyclometric complexity where we will be tracking about the flows of the application within the code. So that is where the cyclometric complexity comes in white box testing. Now who is responsible for sprint meeting? So in every scrum teams there will be a sprint meeting will happen every day. Then who is responsible for setting up that sprint meeting. Is it a product owner, scrum master, a developer or a tester? The scrum master is the overall owner of a scrum team and he or she will be setting up the sprint meetings. Then the tenth one is early defects are nothing but whether these are the cheap to find, easy to fix or costly to find or easy to fix, cheap to find, difficult to fix costly to find and difficult to fix. Costly to find and difficult to fix. The first is the right answer because in the early stages we can easily find the issues as well because we are not putting much effort in the beginning of the phase of the testing and once we are able to find in the beginning then it is easy to fix those issues for the development team as well. 
the next question is during software maintenance phase what kind of tests will normally executed normally as a crucial and critical tests are regression testing will be executed especially when the product is in maintenance which is not the state of the bug in the bug life cycle deferred deferred is definitely a state in the bug critical critical is not a state of the bug in the life cycle postponed is a state of the bug and even verified is a status of the bug critical is a not a state of the bug the next one is we really required software testing is it because we are able to get the good quality or whether it is because reliability will be there or by testing we can ease of use of the application will improve or all of the above the answer is all of the above the 14th question is Normally, everyone feels that building a software is very much difficult than building any other things because of various reasons like uh, whether it is maybe due to of uncontrolled requirements where requirements are getting changed very often or lack of reusability where developers they have not written the code which can be reused in somewhere else or lack of monitoring these efforts or all of them. The software is really difficult to build because of all the above three reasons. What is the meaning of software scope? Is it the software scope is going to tell about what is the cost of the software or a budget of the software or it describes the functions and features or it tells the risk of the software or none of the above. The software scope, scope is nothing but it is a more of what are the functionality is available in a given application or features available within that uh, application that is all about a software scope then what are the main objectives of software project planning the main objective is whether is it to estimate a schedule estimation of the cost estimation of the resources or all of the above software project planning will definitely will take all the these three parameters like schedule cost and resources what is all about IOT. IOT stands for what are these options? We have internationalization of testing, internet of testing, internet of things and internal of things. The answer is internet of things is the right answer for IOT terminology. The exit criteria will be identified during which phase, whether exit criteria will be defined during test closure or during coding, execution or planning phase. As we discussed earlier, the exit criteria will be defined in our test plan. That is where we will have to call that out. This will be defined as part of the planning phase. This is how they will try to confuse you in any exams or any interview. Then the 19th is exhaustive testing is really possible, impractical, rarely possible or very much possible. We cannot go and do all 100% test cases, all permutation and combinations of testing. It is really a impractical if we say anyone say you have to go and do 100% of testing all the time. Then the 20th one is which is not part of a test plan. The test plan we define schedule, risk and what are the feature to be tested and incident reports normally this is the incident report won't be a part of any test plan what is the purpose of impact analysis and how it is going to help to decide it may decide how many more test cases to be written or exit criteria different tools to be used for performance testing how much regression testing should be done basically this impact analysis will be helping us to find out how many more test cases needs to be written because after finding certain issues, we will be doing an impact analysis or root cause analysis. Based on that, we will be identifying where the issues in the test cases are there and we will try to fill those gaps by adding more test cases uh, as part of this impact analysis. Who does the unit testing? Unit testing can be done these days because of we have agile, we can, it can be done by testers or developers as well. But because uh, if any projects which are running on waterfall model, then there is a clear bifurcation of the testers and developers role, then developers will be executing the unit test cases. Which of the following is a block box testing? Is it a code analysis, boundary value analysis or basic path testing? Code is white box testing. Even basic path testing is where we are looking at the paths in the code that is also a white box testing. Then boundary value analysis which is as part of 
block box testing which of the following is a non functional testing is it a performance testing is a non functional testing unit testing block box testing none of the above the performance testing is a non functional testing where we will be trying to test the non functional things here unit testing is a more of a functional even block box testing is also a functional perspective the answer as i suggested is performance testing what is the another name of acceptance testing is it a beta testing white box testing alpha or a gray box testing acceptance testing is normally done by the business users or end users the beta testing is also will be getting done by the same people that is why the beta testing is a alternative name for acceptance testing the testing in which code is validated what kind of testing do we really call it as it is a red box testing white box testing gray box or a black box so when there is a code is involved definitely it would be it should be definitely it should be a white box testing the plan for unit testing system testing acceptance testing is defined in test plan or development plan or retest plan or none of the above the all these different types of testing and its activities what are the criteria everything will be defined in the test plan the testing done without proper planning or a documentation the in agile testing we will be doing testing with right planning and uh, minimal set of documentation water testing also it's not a testing in regression testing also we'll have a right planning and the right documentations also will follow but in ad hoc testing it is more of uh, where we'll have a little to a no planning and no documentation that is where we call it as a ad hoc testing the next question is software mistakes during coding are known as a defects failure bugs and errors now based on certain uh, companies there will be terminologies will be different the software mistakes during coding we call it as a errors the main focus of the acceptance testing is to as we just discussed the acceptance testing is done by the business user and end user the main focus to on the business perspective that is the answer for this question this is a question to when to stop testing when uh, the defects and bugs have been fixed all the tests are run the time is completed the risks are resolved which is the right answer in this is because in a test plan we will be defining uh, risk as well if all the risks are resolved that means when there is no risk zero risk or risk are we having a mitigated uh, things then definitely we can ship the product and you can stop testing when the risks are there definitely we are not shipping the product to the client that is the right answer for this so what is sdlc stands for sdlc stands for software development life cycle so again they will try to confuse you by giving similar options the right answer is software development life cycle i am hoping you guys got a clear idea now you are able to test yourself what kind of knowledge you have in software testing if you guys really like this video then please give a thumbs up to this video if you guys are not subscribed then do subscribe thanks for watching this video bye for now take care